Hey folks, Quillikin here, and I am very annoyed. I just played a big session of Victoria 3, and the recording didn't work properly. I don't know why. Uh, at the start of the video, I confirmed that the light on OBS was on and recording, and at some point, I guess it stopped or something. I had hard drive space, everything was good, it was there. And I considered backing up, reloading the save, and re redoing the recording, which I often do, but I am la tired because I am still la sick from uh, from my trip. Again, uh, my apologies if I do have to cough at some point in this video. I will do my best to mute the mic, but um, I just I didn't want to go back and do it. So we have gone, I think, I think three or four years. Like just again, it's sort of one episode worth, but nothing too crazy happened. That's why ultimately I decided to just keep going. We have fought a few minor wars in Africa to expand our borders a little bit more. I did finally have to give in, this was one of the most recent things that just happened, um, the movement to enact wage subsidies uh, got quite feisty and wanted to get that through. So I did go ahead and do that, even the wage subsidies aren't that useful. We're actually re researching what we need to be able to unlock the old age pension, which would actually be quite desirable, but they, they came at us too early. We also passed professional army, which was great news. I had to do a bunch of things to suppress the rural folk and the uh, trade union, which because they were, were quite against it. Um, I got them both marginalized. Well, I mean, rural folk are still marginalized, but I also had the trade unions marginalized, and so it made it possible to pass that without having too much of a civil war. The trade unions have pushed back, they're, so they're no longer marginalized, even though I am suppressing them now. Uh, I stopped for a while, which may have been why they bounced back, but I'm trying to suppress them again, just because they're mostly getting in our way. Also, they don't like us, so they are slowing some things down pretty dramatically. So if we can keep them suppressed, that would be very useful. Um, other than that, we are currently a great power. I mean, we just sort of entered it and we're still on the cusp of losing it. Things are fluctuating up and down a little bit here, but we have moved up to being a great power. And one of the big things with getting the professional army, and I'm very excited about that, is that we can, well, boost our army size dramatically because now we can go up to a uh, much larger number of, um, of barracks and not have to deal with conscription. And all of a sudden, we might start to feel like we can maybe tangle with some European powers or something like that. Uh, especially, like, it might be fun to do something with Portugal and take some of their holdings over here. And, I mean, a big part of me doesn't want to take on the Netherlands, but we'll see what we can do about that. Uh, Tech-wise, wait, can, I don't know what we have unlocked. Well, I can tell you this. We have unlocked the steel frame buildings over here, which... There you go, just moved over here. So now we are using steel for construction, which is gonna increase our speed of production a lot. Uh, the price of steel has just, just shot up. I just, just, just did this. And I was actually looking over to OBS to see what my timer was to see if it was time to end the episode. And that's when I noticed it had stopped recording. Um, so we just unlocked this. Uh, we... Anything else crazy that I remember happening? Yeah, we're researching human rights right now, mostly because the old age pension is going to be useful to us, presumably. Uh, Military-wise, we haven't unlocked anything ourselves in a bit, although if we are going to go into some real wars, uh, handcraft or hand-cranked machine guns is going to be big. Uh, modern nursing, which is spreading to us, is also going to be quite handy for us. Uh, and then under production, we've got, I think we got the threshing machine... Oh, electrical, gener electrical generation uh, has unlocked. I haven't built anything with it yet, but I think that was the thing I unlocked not too long ago. We're actually teching up pretty quickly. <coughs> Excuse me, there's my first cough already. Jeez. See, now I'm, I'm really, on any day, I hate losing a recording, and it happens from time to time. Uh, but today is worse because I am still ill. The last thing I need to do is record effectively a whole episode and not have it do anything for me, which is frustrating. Now, we do have this positivist reform that's going on, and mostly I'm embracing it because they're like the technocrats and things, right? Like the... the is it not here? Is it under distribution of power? Technocracy? Isn't that their whole vibe? I'm going to have to look this up, but I, I feel like it is, and I think it might be interesting to pursue. We sort of played with it a little in Mexico, but um, I don't think we actually pushed and committed to it, but it might be the thing to do. So what do you have here? Church and the Soul Arbiter of Cause. More political strength for academics, engineers, and officers. Or the your practices represent a breach of positivist principles. Stifling orthodoxy. Influence of positivists will retreat by 10. Now, we're, I think I'm going to commit to it, and we're going to see where this leads. Glass shortage. Oh, because of our buildings. Uh, yeah, I don't think we have much of a glass industry. 
so yeah okay yeah our buy orders are ridiculous yeah okay so that's not great let's get in a bunch of glass but we will have to build that up and we do need some more steel as well maybe i shouldn't have changed the mode immediately Here, I'll pull some in from Portugal as well. I mean, I know these are small numbers, but they're still profitable. Okay, there we go. The shortage goes away. The prices are still going to be high, but as long as there's no shortage, that's going to be all right. We're constructing a lot of things simultaneously now, which is good. I did. Oh, yes. I queued up some extra coal mines and motor industries because there's like a bunch of automation options for our buildings, which are going to eat a bunch of coal and engines, which we have available, but we haven't been running. In France. Also, oh, native uprising. All right, that's fine. I'm going to shut that down immediately. I have no problem with that. Positive stage. Yeah, followers of social theory of positivism because of organizing. Mm hmm. Desire to focus on the future of Belgium. Nation develop and industrialize under governance of technical experts. Yep, maybe derived from logic and reason. We're going we're gonna to go with this. I'm going to hit support and everything. Uh, and we'll see what happens. Oh, look at, our, uh, look at our bank account here. Okay, hold on. Yeah, we can't, we can't afford this. Okay, let's do this, which probably means we're going to have to cancel some trade deals here. You're on your way to Zambezi front? Yeah, you just haven't gotten there yet. Okay. So we need to boost our steel production. We need to get some glass production going on. I didn't realize how much of a shortage we'd have. Building more ports because we are actually consistently running out of convoys. Wait, station. What? Did you stop moving towards the front? Wait a minute, did the other one too? Wait, no path? I mean, no path. How come you can't get there? Is there impassable terrain? Is that what's happening? Because it looks like I would own all this. confused how do you not have a path to this front you are here right now this territory is all owned by me there there must be something impassable here but it's not especially clear We are working to colonize over here. Uh, that's very frustrating. Uh, I don't know what I want to research next here. Oil, I don't... Hmm. Something else in society tech? I guess when in doubt, we'll go industry. You know, finish the steel railway cars. That's... That's kind of annoying. I don't know what to do about this. Can't ask for, like, access rights over here or something weird like that. I wonder if this colonization advances in this area.
It's because we're colonizing here. Okay, now that this has moved in a little, any chance that now we can reach the front? Nope. Now, aha, hang on. Okay, maybe now we're going to be okay. I'm confused why I didn't just walk there, but sure. Now we kick your ass, hopefully. I'm... Okay, government is in good shape. Mm, no. I need an alliance with a small thing. Our government is very legitimate right now with the industry and the industrialists and the petit bourgeoisie. So are we good now? I'm back station there because there's no path. But you're at this front, so I think the one army's somehow got past the bald neck and now they're okay. All right. We'll take it. Oh, am I out okay? um, in uh, government construction? Although we might want to burn off some of this debt, but mm, I kind of want to start the steel and glass industries. Because apparently that's going to be a major shortage. Glass works. Do we have any? We have some. Okay, let's build some of that. And then steel mills. We'll throw some of you in there as well. Oh, actually, what's the... We could use some extra universities too. But I really do want to get. I really do want to get um, the steel frame buildings. Okay. So you're going to give me this territory. And you want that. I decline. Because right now we're blocking their ability to colonize inland here. And I'm kind of digging that. Oh, I'm so mad I lost that episode. But I really didn't want to go back and do it. But I feel my entire vibe is off. And it doesn't help that being sick, I don't feel like I've got the energy level that I normally do. And I thought I maintained it very well for what I thought was the episode I was doing. And now I'm just, oof, so distracted. Monitor's going to time out. Um... Oh, it's because I don't have an admiral. I'm like, hold on. That was one of the things I did do. I upgraded all my frigates to monitors. Shouldn't that complete? Well, you need an admiral, so. Sure, you know what? You're bigoted. Sounds like the kind of attitude our country supports. Done and done. Shallow draft solution. Trade center building throughput. Navy defense. Yeah, well, uh, trade's good. Commerce, that's what we're up all about, baby. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of glass works. But more of the world, as like more of the world switches over to the uh, steel frame. Can I do? I can do a partial swap over. That's good. If we can build up the market for it. Maybe all these small guys here. I see already the glass price. Yeah, because we didn't have it. But now our glass industry that we're building is going to have a ready market. And maybe the private industry will also decide to get into it as we keep pushing the price up. We shall see. Um, how's our infamy? Stupid France taking away air from me just because I wasn't colonizing it like I thought I was. Thinking of, should we start colonizing right here? Split Portugal some more? Splitter colonization efforts more. We do have a growing debt. Oh, uh, you know what I could do? It's because I did remove one of my consumption taxes because I need it for some suppression. But we can tax tobacco, coffee, and oh, fine art. We're going to do a tea, but I'll do the fine art over here. So that's going to offset that dramatically. Yeah, we're still running a small deficit. Well, now it's goes positive. Um, pro, because we're not using all of our construction, I'm sure. Now, glass industries kicked in. Do that. 
As long as we don't get a shortage. Now, we're not building glass locally in those small places, but the fact that we can do one little industry at a time is great. We're going to need the steel as well, but I think, yeah, that, I mean, clearly the gas, glass has gone up. Oh, we should check to make sure our glass works are on a building mode we're happy about. Oh, yeah, we took territory. Oh, I've got to reset a bunch of these things here. Um, glass industry, glass, glass works. So, yes, because we did have some, so we already were set on a fairly aggressive mode. Okay, and they, the glass industry should be sick productive. Yeah, let them fight. Sick profitable, really, is what I meant to say. We'll get another five queued up in Flanders. Along with all the steel mills. So, if when we want to do a, a bigger chunk of our construction buildings, I should really do it in Flanders, because it's getting all the steel mills, and now the glass works as well. So the local price will be lower, which should help with the construction side of things. In fact, I mean, we could suck up a little bit of a deficit still. But I'm worried we'd hit shortage levels, and that wouldn't be great. Yeah, see, so the glass would hit the max of 70, which might represent a shortage. Just grabbing the vacuum canning, just because we do have some groceries going on, and I think that'll be okay. Ten fully employed, making a lot of pollution. Oh, um, lead prices are going up. We, I know we can build our lead mines, but I'm actually wondering just for now. Let's just import a bunch of lead. Oh. Yeah, I like option one here. Oh, what is this? Plantation throughput. Yeah, but no, because again, <clears throat> technically speaking, we aren't we don't allow slavery, right? No, no, no. I mean, we do everything else. We just don't call it that. It's very important. We don't call it that. So we say no. Increase the tension with Matabella, but that's fine. The thing is, this increases the colonial growth generation, which is great. That's totally what we want. While still pretending we totally don't do slavery, you guys. We wouldn't do that. We're, it's not like we're playing as the bad guys. It's crazy talk. Okay. That's good. Yeah, and glass prices aren't crazy right now. Um, if in Flanders... Oh, go away, tooltip. Okay, I'm going to do this. It does say shortage. Okay, I'm going to do some glass import. For the moment. Oh. Okay, well, let me just cancel that then for now. <laughs> Revolution is Persia. Ah! Yeah, see? It's, it, guys, it's totally not slavery. It may seem similar, but it's totally not. That's exactly what we keep telling ourselves all the time so we can sleep at night. On our giant pile of money made by exploiting... Just, just human beings in other places. But we totally don't call it slavery, so it's okay. I mean, at this point, uh, I was going to say, at this point, I can just set it globally to this. But no, there's still a big chunk of uh, construction uh, buildings in Wallonia that aren't on the steel frame buildings. So we'll do that. Okay, glass price is still expensive, which is fine. I'm going to queue up another five glass works here in Flanders. Um... Yeah, I know you won't be as profitable, but hold on. I want to do this. Because I want to limit our... Are you really going to lose money? If you're not selling por... Alright, do this. To make some profit from the porcelain. But still keep the glass better. Uh, hell on Earth. No, we can't slow down production. Of course, again, we're going to keep the full colonialist, colonialist attitude. Where schools should teach them the proper language. Mm-hmm. We have no choice but to attack them. It just raises tension, so it may not actually start the war. 
Now, if I were to go over here now and steel frame buildings, ah, see, it wouldn't actually set the glass all the way to 70. Explosives, though, that's going to be the next thing we have a shortage of? Really? Well, you know what? Let's go ahead. We're going to switch everything to steel frame buildings. And we'll just deal with the shortages or high prices through maybe a little bit of trade. Holy productivity. Yeah, that's pretty big deficit. I thought we'd be bringing in enough, but... <clears throat> no, that's pretty nuts. Dang it! Oh, France. France, what are you doing, man? Power through, we can do this. Explosives and steel still both expensive. Can I bring in a little bit more? Prussian explosives. French and Prussian steel. Ideally, we'd like to be producing this all domestically, but we're just uh, using trade as a bit of a patch here. It is worth noting, this is not this number is not red, so if we pause construction, we'd go positive, which makes perfect sense, of course because we're just paying tons of money here. I mean, tools are a little or on the a little bit on the expensive side in some states as well. <laughs> but that's not really the problem. The explosives are semi fixed now. It's the glass and steel that's still a lot. I think the gold mines are still worth doing real quick here. Okay. Ooh, all right, that's shrunk. That's good. Um, let's go. Oh, we're going to need some infrastructure there, huh? Hmm. Anyway. We'll deal with the infrastructure shortage soon. Oh, do we have a bunch of micro armies here? Hold on. Look, we didn't lose a general, did we? Definitely don't want to... St oh, shit. Hold on. I did lose a general. Um... So we're just like tell these guys to be split in half. I'll tell you what, we'll wait for everyone to group up over here, and then we'll fix it afterwards. Let's get sh we'll hire another general so it's ready to go. Okay, and then we'll fix everything up after. Colonizing, yeah, and this should turn red soon. As soon as we get to half debt, then it's going to turn red. Publicly traded. So that's an interesting question of whether or not we want to enable that. I did set up a lot of glass works, but I think that's an okay thing. Arguably, maybe I should have built more steel mills than glass, or... I suspect we'll be doing another set of steel mills after this. Port level max. Okay, lots of text coming in very quickly. And yeah, no longer a great power. I mean, we just dabbled with it for a bit. Okay, I'm like, I'm more tense here than half the times I've fought a war in this game. Just the switch over to the uh, steel frame buildings has proven to be pretty treacherous. Okay, so this is in red, but that's because we've got half of our max debt. I think we'd be, we'd still be running positive if we weren't currently constructing. So I did the vacuum canning. Yeah, I think that was okay. So we did all the level three industrial techs. Oh no, open hearth process. We want this. Actually, that'll boost our steel mills gonna be really good okay we'll let these glass works finish which i think once that does um our money should be positive although meanwhile these industries will not be very profitable because their um the demand is going to drop out especially with our trade routes happening Ooh, diplomatic incident in rhine giving infamy to the netherlands i like it Well, I guess we're going to be constructing for a little bit more. <laughs> My economy. Okay, steel prices are, you know, they, all, all four of them 
are a little on the high side, but it's still the glass that's the worst, which is okay, because we're working on that actively right now. And yeah, we could switch these public and traded, which actually will make them tons of money. I think most of these... Hope we didn't just crash our economy. Okay, I might wait on those gold mines a little bit. I guess that's it. Even if I'm not spending uh, public money, the private industry is still using up some of our construction sector stuff. And therefore is going to keep the price of glass and steel a little higher. So this has dropped just because I think we're not, we're not using all of our capacity right now. So it makes sense that the demand there has dropped some. Yeah, we are positive. That's good. Open hearth. Okay, that's... Oh, wait, is that the one that uses electricity? Shoot. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, it eats tons more iron to make tons more steel. What I'm do is... I'll switch one of you over. Yeah, we might just be looking at more mines. Electric there, electric arc process. That's it. In the tooltip for the technology, it led to this. So I saw the word electric, and that's why. Um, the fixation, good. Mechanized farming. Steam turbine. Just flat out construction throughput might not be the worst thing right now. Okay, let's go for pneumatic tools. The red scare. No, we're going to say leftist and traitor to nation. Okay, election is due. Money is positive. Despite the fact, there we go. I was say now we're not doing any government constructions. Now it's quite positive, and it might be worth burning off a little bit of debt here. Some of our industries might be hurting a little bit because we don't have quite as much demand. Um, if we do switch more buildings over to publicly traded, we will have, I believe, more capitalists, and generally there should be more public sector spending because they should have. With more of them, that means there'll be more money available, so they should be able to take advantage of that more and more. It doesn't always mean they're going to be building the thing I want, but it is going to be a way to continue to use utilize our construction sector without having to rely on public on government money, which I think is generally going to be desirable. Colony wise, oh, if I can sort by this, I was going to say we have five places we're actively doing the colonization stuff, which is good. I think that's a pretty good number right now. Oh, there's a... Uh... Oh, it's over there. There's a spot on the coast I can colonize, but no. Um, it might still be worth doing this. Nothing else. If we could wrap around here, we could maybe get around to there. I mean, none of it's coastal. Yeah, I think at some point, us and Portugal are going to come to blows, but maybe not yet. All right, we'll wrap it up here. <sighs> Again, my apologies for... Well, I'm not apologizing for being sick. It, it, I am sorry, like mutually sorry. It sucks for all of us doing these episodes while I'm sick because I know the energy level is not the same, but I am still, re I really, really want to play Victoria 3 today. It wasn't just that, oh man, I need to make sure to record a video. It was, I really want to play it, but I hate that I lost the one. I don't think we lost much of a story, so I think we're okay there. Uh, yeah, hopefully so. If, 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 if there's something that happened, like you noticed on the map or, or in my setup with the nation, something with the laws that I like I didn't address that may have happened in between the episodes. Do leave a comment. I'll see if I can address it and be like, oh yeah, here's the context for that. But I don't I think I mostly talked about things. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.